Both of my grandsons, even if it is under tragic circumstances. Were you guys friends with Officer Cabrera? What's that look about? Well, he was Trina's boyfriend, so I hung out with him a couple times. Not so much for me. Yeah. We wanted to support Trina. That's nice. Uh, be right back. Look, I was planning on calling you tonight to let you know that I got released from Pentonville early, but then when we heard the news about Rory, I... It's okay, hon. It's really okay. I understand. I was actually talking with your dad about your early release just a little bit ago. Then you know that I take after him? Uh, well, if you mean that you're both stubborn and you act before you think... No, more like everything I touch causes somebody else pain. Isn't that a little bit melodramatic even for you, Spencer? No, because all of this with Rory and everything that Trina is going through, that's all on me. How is that possible? Because I'm the one who brought Esme to town. Think about everything that's happened. It's all gone to hell. The sex tape of Joss and Cam, Trina going on trial, and now all these hook attacks. Listen, Spencer, you can't help Trina or anybody else if you're blaming yourself. Don't you blame me, grandmother? No, I don't. No, you're not responsible for the things that Esme does. I don't blame you at all, Spencer. I have faith in you. You're a much better person than you think you are. What have I ever done to make you have faith in me? During Trina's trial, you knew that if you gave her an alibi that it might end up putting you in prison, but you testified anyway. I believe in that young man. You know, you were going down the wrong road for a little while there, but you have turned it around. I believe in you, even if you don't believe in yourself right now. I love you.